final part of our Gibb River Road adventure sees us up bright and early to hit the slow four-wheel drive track out to Wanamara Gorge before heading to Ellenbray Station to finally solve the Ellenbray vs Bolara Scon debate. We then check out the other attractions around Ellenbray before tackling the worst corrugations of the Gibb yet, making it to the Pentecost River just in time for sunset and saying goodbye to the dirt road. That's a bitch from baby. You good?
We're back at the homestead, mm. smashing a bit of lunch because we've got to now travel about 180 k's. Had a three hour drive to Ellenbury. Mm. Yeah, which is why we got up super early. Um, yeah, we're just going to also drop by the homestead, closer to the homestead, just to pick up some Starlink and book Ellenbury. So it eases our mm. minds a bit. But um, yeah, one, one of my gorge. Yeah, right really up there. Really nice. Right up there, yeah. Almost, I think because it's such a track to get in, you have less people doing it. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we had Kez and Baz <laughs> with yeah. us this morning. Um, and Barry, yeah. <laughs> so we sort of both had our own bits of time to ourselves there. And then just before we went to go look at the art, we had another family come down. It was really lovely. We got chatting to them, but that was all we had in the morning. And then as we were driving out at about 11, there was four groups coming mm. in but a word of advice yeah <laughs> don't sit under the waterfall we didn't because we had read it on wiki camps and we had mentioned it to the family um apparently there's a lot of leeches that hang around under mm. the waterfall so where the water's actually running and um their daughter she actually tripped and fell and landed in them so she i don't know if they're bitter or whatever but she i could see a few little ones on her legs but yeah naturally she was pretty freaked out yeah people had said they'd been covered by them so yeah and like hundreds of them but our recommendation would definitely be if you've got the time to do it for sure we didn't get a chance to go look at the swimming hole which is only 1k mm. um maybe like a k and a half from the actual homestead which i'm sure would be lovely mm. and probably a lot easier to get to because there was a lot of sketchy parts not oh, sketchy yeah. just challenging parts um but enjoyable yeah someone had said uh, said an eight out of ten um Difficulty. yeah i'd probably say seven or eight or it was up there uh, you definitely mm. want a high clearance four wheel drive Oh, yeah. um, good tyres because you'll be yeah moving over, over rocks. rocks. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but in our opinion, definitely worth it. Mm, yeah. Mm. So, anyway. Cheers. Yeah, finish this. Yeah. And we'll catch you at Ellenbury. Mm. Mm. Bye. Hi, good morning. On our way to get skirts. <laughs> <laughs> Just give this a moment, we're about to get dusted by a car. Paul Maurice had a really big day last, oh yesterday. The road wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. So yeah. <laughs> good enough for Shay to get a sleep in. <laughs> but yeah, got into Ellen Bray just before dark last night and then went to the uh, water, hole, uh, water hole just around the corner from where we are. It's really, really scenic actually. Yeah, the whole station is where the homestead is and the campground amenities are as well. Yeah, the staff are really lovely and yeah, it definitely is living up to the hype and for sure worth a visit. There's not really much else to 
stop by really between Perth yeah. and Elizabeth and here. But... but we're walking up the road now to go and get these scones that Shay's been talking about for the last couple of days. So we'll see <laughs> how they are. What was your thoughts on the scones? Scone report? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ooh, it's up there as like, yeah, eight or nine. I think we said they come whole and then you can cut them in half and they come with a side of jam and cream. So I think only for that reason, and maybe they're a little bit bigger, we would probably just rate them above the Lara. Yeah. 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 Delicious. Lived yeah. up to the hype. Light and fluffy, bit of crisp. And we spoiled ourselves with a ham and cheese toasty as well because it was just begging for it. It was eight bucks, so we thought yeah, yeah. rude not to really. Might be worth <laughs> mentioning that we're sort of uh, just aware. We're not changing our plans at all, but oh yeah, um, there's unseasonal rain fall forecasted yep. <laughs> as we get towards Elquestra. Yes, so. it said early next week. It's Saturday today, so we're supposed to get to Elquestra on Sunday. So I'm hoping, I know that there's about a metre water crossing there already at the moment, so hopefully we can at least get through it once with it not being too much higher, but the way out might be interesting. Yeah, yeah, we'll find out. We might be trapped at all. Yeah, extra. probably try and smash out Emma Gorge before doing anything else because there might not be much that we can do when we're there, so we'll just have to see. Yeah, exciting. Ciao. Bye. Sand a bit hot. Yeah. <laughs> How nice is this? So nice. This is yeah, great. Very quiet and peaceful. Yeah. yeah. Actually quite warm water. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, definitely. We were saying if you're on a budget, you could probably not stay at Ellenbrae. It wasn't super expensive. It was 37 for the two of us, including like being able to access all of this. But you could probably just stop in for scones. <laughs> yeah. Going, but the only tricky thing is registered camping. There's not really much around this area. So if you don't stop here, it's a big drive between, like between the Pentecost. Elkwesher area and um, Mount Elizabeth, unless you're doing Drysdale. Yeah, there's a few questionable free camps along the road. Uh, but yeah, this is a very easy stop. Yeah, compared to Mount Elizabeth, which is 30 k's off road, so mm. not definitely stopping. But anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway. We're gonna go have a shower, I think, and then get moving. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's go, Pentecost.
going on here? Don't buy Iron Man. <laughs> not happy. No, nah, not happy. We've made it to the Pentecost. We got here late last night again, but that turns out to be the last of the corrugations, the last of, I guess, yeah, the gear. Yeah, which mm. is, yeah, we didn't know that. So we were pretty happy when we were told that when we got to the other mm. side. El Crestro will still be its own separate thing that we have to trek into and go through some deep water crossings. But yeah. as far as the Gib River Road goes, we're on Bitchman, baby. Yeah, yeah. so air up, get to El Crestro, it's just a short drive. But yeah. that road from... Um, Ellen Bray. Ellen Bray to here, worst of the gib that yeah. we experienced. Uh, the way that, I mean, there's so many sharp rocks. Everyone talks about the sharp rocks and that sort of thing, but just some of them, the way they stand up like knives on the road. Like as if just put them there for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's so hard to believe maybe unless you've, you've, you've seen it and know what we're talking about. Uh, thankfully, Maurice though, uh, reasonably good has made for the it most through. Part. Other than that, yeah, there was oh, some really good lookouts for Coburn Rangers. For the Coburn Rangers on the drive so as well. So nice, yeah. That was yeah, really good. It's one really scenic road. It's sort of like a nice windy road as you come down and the rangers sort of start to appear in the back. We really wanted to put the drone up, but um Yeah. I don't know what else to cover really. I think we're basically on to El Questro. Yeah, I think yeah. just quickly on the Pentecost really pretty um mm, yeah, we because yeah. we got in late we were just not going to even try and see if we could find a spot in a couple we had seen at ellen bray they were right at the front and there was a bit of space next to him so we just sneaked literally right at the front there but if you do come to the pentecost keep going further down the the track because there's some down really the beautiful road. spots yeah but anyway that marks the end of the gib for well yeah. yeah the worst of the gib i guess and the end of this video otherwise catch you next time catch you after nine great days on the Gib, we move on to El Questro Station, sampling the happy hour cocktails before treating ourselves with a three course meal at the restaurant. We then race to explore whatever gorges we can before the inbound severe weather, which cuts us off from one of our major bucket list items as the Kimberley prepares for heavy flooding.